Hi, I'm Gina from OC Habitats, here to explore another one of Orange County's native habitats, fresh and saltwater wetlands. The three parameters that define a wetland are the presence of standing water, hydric or saturated soil conditions, and vegetation that are adapted to the wet conditions. Wetlands have characteristics of terrestrial and aquatic ecosystems and serve as a transition between the two. The water that saturates wetland soils varies in amount and salinity and generally determines what wildlife lives there. Wetlands occur with varying characteristics on every continent except Antarctica. In other locations, they have many different names such as swamps, peatlands, sloughs, marshes, muskegs, bogs, fens, potholes, or mires. Here in Orange County, we have saltwater wetlands, also called salt marshes, freshwater wetlands, and vernal pools. Our salt marshes include Upper Newport Bay, Bolsa Chica, Huntington Beach, and Anaheim Bay. An example of a local freshwater wetland is San Joaquin Marsh. Lastly, our two vernal pools in OC are Fairview Park and Banning Ranch. Vernal pools are seasonal wetlands that occur when rain fills up depression in the land during winter and spring. The plants that live in salt marshes must have adaptations that help them survive in salty environments. One example is pickleweed, a bright green succulent that stores salt from the water in vacuoles or chambers. As the vacuoles at the tip of the pickleweed fill up with salty brine, they'll turn red and fall off. Another common salt marsh plant is saltgrass. Saltgrass has stiff, narrow stems that are often coated in salt crystals. This is because the grass has adapted to excrete salt from its glands. Freshwater wetlands, on the other hand, are filled with different species of plants, such as bulrush or cattails. Cattails have long, tapering leaves and brown cylindrical flowers right beneath a large spike. When cattails mature, the spike breaks down and releases their seeds. Bulrush is characterized by long, narrow blades and clusters of tannish flowers along the top. Our Orange County wetlands are a crucial rest stop to a number of migratory bird species. However, they are also a year-round home to several notable birds. For example, the Belding Savannah Sparrow spends the whole year in our coastal salt marshes. To identify it, look for a streaky brown bird with a yellow spot on its eye. This California endangered species nests in and feeds on the pickleweed habitat of Southern California. Pickleweed also supports another endangered bird species, the Ridgeways rail. This bird is also a year-long resident in the marshes. It has a grayish-brown back and cinnamon-colored breast. When Ridgeways rails are not hiding in dense vegetation, they are searching for invertebrate prey by probing their long bill into the mu muddy wetland ground. The plants in our local wetlands also support animals other than birds. The wandering skipper butterfly, for example, lays its eggs exclusively in the salt grass of Southern California's salt marshes. It is a dark brown species of butterfly with cream colored spots on their fore wings. Since wetlands have aquatic and terrestrial characteristics, they are home to marine animals as well as mammals, reptiles, and birds. The shovel-nosed guitarfish is a stingray characterized by its long pointed snout and guitar-shaped body. This stingray lives on the sandy wetland floor and preys on invertebrates, clams, worms, and small fish. It also serves as prey to some large bird species. The shovel-nosed guitarfish is not protected, however their population is declining as they are caught and discarded as bycatch by fisheries. Vernal pools have unique wildlife that adapts to the seasonal changes of their habitat. The endangered San Diego fairy shrimp is one such species. Only 8 to 16 millimeters in length, this crustacean survives by dropping eggs on the floor of the vernal pool that hatch at the beginning of the next rainy season. Fascinatingly, San Diego fairy shrimps swim upside down with 11 pairs of legs. Wetlands are one of the most important ecosystems on Earth. Aside from being a home to wildlife, they also provide many ecosystem services for humans. They filter and purify water, stabilize shores, limit flooding by absorbing excess water, replenish aquifers, and serve as nurseries for the fish that we eat. In addition, wetlands are the sites of recreational activities like hunting, hiking, canoeing, and bird watching. Because people do not understand the crucial role that wetlands play, the habitat is threatened by humans. Countless 
wetlands have been filled or drained to provide land for housing, industry, agriculture, and even our nation's capital, Washington, D.C. In California, we have lost over 90% of our historic wetlands. At OC Habitats, we help restore and maintain our local wetlands through various restoration programs. Our volunteers work to remove trash and invasive plant species, as well as reintroduce natives so that the ecosystem can thrive. Let's see if you can remember what we learned about wetlands with some review questions. Number one, true or false? Two of our salt marsh plant species are bulrush and cattails. If you answered false, you are correct. These two plants are only found in freshwater wetlands. Salt marshes are home to shrubs such as pickleweed and salt grass. Which of the following wetland plants are especially important for birds like the Belding Savannah Sparrow and Ridgeways Rail? Is it A, bulrush, B, pickleweed, C, cattails, or D, salt grass? The correct answer is B, pickleweed. The Belding Savannah Sparrow and Ridgeways Rail are both endangered bird species that rely on the pickleweed for nesting and food. The third and final question is, which of the following is a service that wetlands provide? Is it A, recreational activities, B, water filtration, C, flood control, or D, all of the above? If you answer D, you got it. Wetlands provide an array of ecosystem services for humans, including, but not limited to, recreational activities, filtering water, and limiting floods. Thank you for joining us for our adventures in the wetlands. If you want to learn about any other Orange County habitats, visit our website, ochabitats.org, or our YouTube channel. To stay updated on what we're doing, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at OC Habitats.